here I have this prototype where I make a raycast from the cylinder to its y direction. This is the code to do it. I simply define a transform variable and drag the cylinder object in the inspector. Then we make a raycast in the update method. And if we hit something with the raycast, I draw a line from the origin of the ray to the hit point of the raycast. In the corner and in the description, I leave links to a couple of videos where I explain in detail how to make a raycast and how to draw a raycast. Now we are interested in how to make a raycast ignore a certain collider. In this example, we will make the raycast go through the sphere and collide with the cube. Subscribe to support this content and let's start solving this problem. We can make a raycast ignore certain colliders using layers. For example, we could assign to our sphere the ignore raycast layer or we can create another layer. Let's call it, for example, a no hit and assign it to the sphere. Then in our script, we define a layer mask variable. Let's call it, for example, my layer mask. And in the inspector, we can choose the layers that our raycast will use. For example, we can select everything and then deselect the layers you want to ignore. Then in the script, where you make the raycast, you can use a different overload to apply that layer mask. Here, for example, we are making a raycast using these two parameters, array and an output raycast hit variable. We can add two extra parameters to this function. First, a max distance to make the raycast. You can write 10, 30, 50, whatever you need. In this case, let's just write mathf.infinity for the maximum possible distance. Write a comma and add the layer mask variable. Now, if you run this, the Raycast will ignore the unchecked layers in the layer mask variable from the inspector. Subscribe to this channel so we can see each other again in the next video.